Hello sports fans, this is an Arduino Shield, uh, it's the Open Theremin Uno um, and it's just turned up in the post today, I have several things I've got to do to it before I can actually play it, the first thing is um, to fasten it's, uh, these uh, header pins in so it'll fasten onto a shield. I am not going to go through the embarrassing process of allowing you to see my crappy soldering so after I've soldered all, I'm all in I'll be back. That's all the header pins fitted some of them are even straight. I must admit my soldering technique has improved greatly over the last year that I've been doing it. Anyway um, now the proof of the pudding is whether it actually fits onto the Arduino as a shield. Uh, ba -ba -ba, da -da -da. Look at that! Fabulous! So, on to the next stage. I've got to go read the instructions now. Okay. Wheelbarrows. What do you mean wheelbarrows, dear? Look at what I can see there. You can see wheelbarrows. Hmm, and people say I'm mad. Right, I've downloaded the um, sketch from GitHub and it's actually in and loaded. And so now I've got to find something to make aerials out of. So I'm going to go and root about in my bits and bobs box and see if I can find something to make a couple of aerials with. Other than that, It'd be down to Poundland tomorrow to buy one of their television aerials that has that have uh, two antenna attached to them, which ain't bad for a quid. Let's see how we go. Well, this is a Poundland um, television digital television antenna. Yeah, right. Uh, disappointingly, the antenna are only thirty centimeters long 300 millimeters and uh, the antenna for the theremin has to be between 50 uh, sorry between 40 and 50 centimeters but I can make something out of this else out of this um, a la uh, Big Clive's um, ghost detector I'll give that a go later the good news is that I actually found the copper wire so now, um, yeah, I have aerials or antenna on my theremin. I also bought this um, iPod stand thing. It doesn't work brilliantly, but at least it holds it up. Let's see what happens now. Obviously I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this while I'm holding the iPod, but I've got the volume antenna more or less. So let's see if I can put that I think that's more or less working now. Anyway, that's here for now. 